Good morning viewers. Uh, today I'm doing a ride that has been requested by one of my subscribers. I think his name is pronounced Male Bresno. I could be wrong. If I am wrong, then please uh, leave it in the comments. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna be riding today uh, from Oldham into Stockport and then into Buxton. And that's what he specifically has requested because he's been there before on that particular route and has recommended it. So it uh, should be all right. Actually, it's quite a hilly, hilly ride today. Uh, I'm gonna be doing 100 kilometers all together. And I think it's gonna be like 1,200 meters of elevation gain. So it's gonna be quite challenging, but hopefully it should uh, go well. Just halfway through Ashton Road, which is a really cool uh, descent. It's just got a sort of steady gradient, but it's all down here, so uh, it's fantastic. We're just passing through Stockport, it's next to the motorway, that's why it's so uh, loud. But anyway. Yeah, we probably have done about 20k so far. Uh, just check that. Yeah, exactly, we've done 20 kilometers. So, uh, yeah, uh, now we're going to be going towards Buxton from here. So, I'll uh, update you throughout. basically uh, just saw the first sign for Buxton uh, so yeah should be a very picturesque ride right from here so I'm gonna try and show you some of the views and update you outside uh, the Red Lion pub that Melee has recommended to me uh, to stop by on the route and uh, we're not gonna be actually stopping here for anything to drink or eat because it's uh, too early in the ride yet I think we're gonna have something to eat in Buxton so let's carry on it's uh, there's a big climb ahead of us probably about 10 kilometers long so let's see how that goes Uh, that's actually quite the road has flattened out uh, with a slight descent actually as well. That's cool. The 
right has been very, very pleasurable. Uh, yeah, some really nice views have opened up for us now. So yeah, we're still on our way to Buxton. Just found a kids playground and I'm on the sea, so. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the profile of the climb. We're just about to uh, start. Just have a look. started the big climb so uh, so far so good the gradient isn't actually that drastic yet but I believe there are sections with like 10% gradient so we shall see but the views are stunning officially entered the pig district. Uh, marvelous. I really like the amount of forest here. Uh, for a change there are quite a lot of trees. Have a look. that feeling when your body produces endorphins from exercising you know like doing this climb right now now it just feels absolutely amazing like I'm on top of the world which I kind of am really almost have a look
well, this climb really reminds me of uh, Mars and more where uh, I've, I've actually done that the video from that one uh, if you go to have a look I'll put the link in the description as well Descending time! We've arrived in Buxton. We just passed a few beautiful historical buildings. The Palace Hotel being one of them. And just by uh, Buxton uh, train station. Fantastic. We're in Buxton. We just stopped at the local uh, coffee shop. Uh, so yeah. I ordered two coffees and I'm just, I'm just having some chicken goujons. We just had our food and drink. Next stop, Vyosa. We've just left a village of Chinli. Uh, I'm just doing like another quite steep climb. There's actually quite a lot of climbing involved in the return journey, but it's pictures nevertheless. I'm absolutely destroyed after that brutal climb. In parts it had gradients of 15%, which to be honest with you, when, when we looked at the route, we didn't even think that it showed that, but yeah. We've just been uh, surprised by it. I thought I'd give you an update so you can feel my, my pain with me. Basically, this Glossop road that leads to Glossop, obviously. All right. Anyway. So many steep and brutal climbs. I can barely ride anymore. I'm, I'm absolutely destroyed by these climbs. Yeah, absolutely crazy. And the, the best thing is, I did it myself. I created the route. just arrived in Glossop and Ella says that I'm a liar just like Komoot because both Komoot and I basically tell lies about how many climbs there's going to be excuse me and what gradients 
We've arrived in Glossop finally and uh, we've just stopped for another coffee but uh, we are absolutely exhausted we've got about 20 kilometers to get home uh, there's still some climbing to be done but uh, we should be all right we should just be able to make that we just passed the last worst climb of the day i suppose so the most challenging one yeah there's another about 15k to get home but yeah the ride has definitely been a challenging one and just to add to the situation uh, it's actually started raining man. it's been raining for some time now but yeah anyway about 10k to get home now so we're almost there okay back home thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed the video and always as i say don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks